Hello everyone, my name is Scott Gentry and I am a product manager here at Cumulo. And today I'm excited to take you through a new demo of Cumulo Shift for AWS S3. Now this feature allows you to put your native file data from your Cumulo cluster, whether it's on-prem or in the cloud, into an S3 bucket in its AWS S3 native format. And that native part is important because that means no proprietary formatting is applied. So you're free to take advantage and innovate with powerful AWS services and marketplace apps against your S3 data set. Now historically, it's been difficult to get your file-based data easily into a cloud object store so that it can be used with cloud services. So take high performance active workloads, for instance, video editing, special effects, genome sequencing, these workflows need specialized services to be fully realized, such as transcoding or media processing, machine learning, analytics, all of which are available as AWS services. And Cumulo Shift makes that possible. But don't take my word for it, let's jump into a demo so I can show you how this is done. So today we're gonna to leverage an Amazon S3 service, in this case, Amazon Elastic Transcoder. We're gonna take a crisp 4K video from our Cumulo on-prem cluster and shift it to an Amazon S3 bucket and then push it through a transcoding pipeline, which will downsample that 4K video from 4K down to 1080p to 720p, depending on your workflow requirements. So first, let's take a look at the initial setup of our environments. On the left side here, you can see I already have two buckets created. The first one being shift demo inputs. This is where that 4K video is going to land after we shift it from our Cumulo cluster into S3. And then shift demo output. This is where all those transcoded files are going to land after we push that 4K video through the AWS service known as Amazon Elastic Transcoder. And if you look inside shift demo input, it's empty, so nothing's been moved yet. On the right side here, this is where we can create a new pipeline to actually do the transcoding. I've already pre-filled it out, so we have the pipeline name, transcode shift demo, the actual input bucket, which is shift demo input, the actual output bucket, shift demo output, and a place for thumbnails if you need it. So let's create that pipeline and just save it for later because we're going to need it to create jobs. Awesome, it's been created. So as you can see, I have two windows open. On the left hand side, I have an SMB share connected to my Mac from my Cumulo cluster. On the right hand side, I have a terminal window open that we're going to use to actually run the QQ API commands to kick off the shift itself. And up here you see I have a 4K video, which I'm going to drag and drop into our Cumulo cluster. And if we open this file, we can confirm that it is indeed high quality 4K. So next we're gonna to go to our terminal and actually kick off the QQ API command to shift this file from the Cumulo cluster into S3. So next we're gonna actually log into the cluster itself using the QQ API command I'm pasting in here. Next we're gonna run the shift command which is called replication create object relationship. You need the object store address, the bucket name itself, in this case, shift demo input, the region, the object folder, the access key and secret access key of your user role, and the source directory path, which in this case is sgentry shift demo source, which is on the Cumulo cluster itself. So now we can hit enter to actually kick off the transfer. And if you run this command called replication list object relationship statuses, you can actually see that indeed there is a replication job running here. So now let's go to our S3 buckets and see that it landed. So we're over here at our shift demo inputs, and if I refresh the page, awesome, you can see that the 4K file was moved into our S3 bucket from the Cumulo cluster. That's great. So next, let's go to the right and actually create a new job to do the transcoding. So I've already pre-filled this out to save time, but as you can see, I've chosen a pipeline, transcode shift demo that we created earlier, an output key prefix, which is basically the folder that these transcoded files will land in in the shift demo output bucket, an input key, which is the original path to the 4K file, and then I've filled out 17 different one of these presets from 1080p to 720p and on, basically every MP4 preset that AWS had available to me. I would never do this on my own laptop. This is a lot of processing power. So let's let AWS handle this for us. So let's create the new job. Great, that means it's running. So let's check out our output bucket. So the transcoded files folder has been created. Wow, that was fast. Look at all of these MP4s. Let's download them all and see what happens when I play them. 
Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is 17 different MP4s kicking off at the same time. I have no idea how my computer hasn't crashed yet. <laughs> but it's awesome to see how we're able to take a single MP4 4K video and transcode it into so many different formats so easily. Well, I hope this showed you how easy it is to leverage Cumulo Shift for AWS S3 in order to enable innovation with powerful AWS services. And uh, I will see you in the next demo. Thank you.